to my friends from Goodfellas TV from Alexis Too Sexy Salazar. Hey, let's talk about Stephen Fulton. He did an interview with Brian Custer. Um, it was a really good interview, entertaining interview. But one of the things he did was expose Errol Spence that the chives of the streets truly don't matter if you really want to fight. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video, okay? So he basically said that Al Heyman gave him his blessing. You know, they tried to, he said he was negotiating the fight. I think Brandon Figueroa at 126. Uh, they've been, it was negotiating since November. And I guess, you know, the paper wasn't right or something wasn't right with the negotiations. And then when he said in New York, I won, he went to go make that fight happen. His manager is Luis DeCubis. And, you know, he said, you know, they put it together and Al gave it his blessing. He basically said that, if you truly want to fight somebody, ain't no amount of money, ain't no business going to really get in the way. Al ain't going to get in the way. He said all this blaming Al, I'm paraphrasing, it's, not, it's pretty much not true. And if you want to go make something happen, Al will give you his blessing to do so. And, you know, one, Al needs stories like that to maintain his, his neutral position. See, what we understand is all he like to do is, is he don't like to let people cross the street. But also on the other side of the thing, on the other side of the coin, is that you know he's a true businessman so when he do send his fighter off to the zone like Dervinchenko, it was rumored that he got Dervinchenko uh five million dollars when he probably wasn't even worth one million so once you start working with al Heyman to make these fights happen you know what i'm saying with other companies Al gonna squeeze my al gonna get above market value to rent his fighters out but he needs stories like steve Fulton to say well al didn't get in the way he allowed me to fight and Oh, I man, if you really want to fight, Al won't get in the way. And we already knew that. Even though it looked like Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia could be hitting another snag. You know what I'm saying? But we, we already know when you deal with PBC, they're going to want everything in their favor. Or they're going to want a, a shit ton of money above market value for you to run the show. And if you ain't coming with more money than they got, or more money than they willing to uh, they, they give them the money they, they ask for, then, you know... They ain't gonna do it. Even if you come in, you know, uh, slightly above or just above market value, they ain't gonna do it. They want above market value. You know, and what it boiled down to is Earl Spence just didn't want to fight. And that's what people can't get through their head. He don't want to fight. If he really wanted to make that fight happen, he did a great job, you know, playing the internet, social media thing, acting like he wanted to fight. He don't want to fight. And that's what Fulton was saying. If, I, if you really want to fight somebody, you're going to make it happen. You know, you're going to, pre you're going to press play and you're going, to, you're, going to, you're going to jump in the lines then. And what it boiled down to is, if you really want to do something, you know, it sounds like Allen facilitate. Or he give you his blessing to go ahead and make it. And what's really going on is these dudes simply don't want to fight. That's the truth. Earl Spence don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. I don't know if it's a team effort. They sit down and say, well, let's let him slow down, or you can't beat him, or he don't feel like he can beat him. You know? Or it's just a team effort with a manager and the advisor and the coach all put their head together and say, no, this ain't the best move. We'd rather go get our ass whooped versus Canelo for a lot of money. At the end of the day, you got one life to live. That's what we can say. At the end of the day, you got one life to live, and you know, it's his decision. And he gotta live with it. You know, did he rob black the hip hop and the black box community? Absolutely. The fighters already robbed. It didn't happen last year. It was at the, it was at the it was it reached its pinnacle last year. Anything after last year, really, we're on this. It was on the wrong side of the pinnacle. It already started to down slope last year. If we all if we all being real, that fight was be, beyond that. Now it's just like a well done state. Who the fuck want a well done state? Only people who only people who don't open their mind and try new things be like, well, you know, I don't like my state to be like that. Then you don't then come on, man. Niggas out here knocking off prostitutes raw, eating out random chicks and talking about, well, I don't like my state uh, well done. I mean, people be people be they be mind blowing to me, bro.
people be eating on a rummy noodle diet and then got the nerve to go somewhere fancy and say, well, this is a little overrated. Black people got that real bad. That's why I don't listen to shit black people say. Then you eat their family cooking and it be nasty as hell. And they got the nerve to talk about white people putting raisins in their potato salad. <laughs> you know, this kind of, you know, oh man, I, you know, I be looking at niggas like, bro. <laughs> you know, but back on code, they just exposed him. He just exposed him, man. Like I said, Terrence Crawford moving on from, from this fight. You know, not speaking on it or nothing like that. He, he is starting to pay dividends. It's starting to pay dividends. Because with the whole Ryan Garcia tank thing, thing, talking about the rematch clause and all that, and how I like PBC trying to finesse their way out of that fight, that's making him look better. When Steve Fulton come out doing that interview, that's making him look better. All he did was solidify that, you know, in a tank fight, Ryan, all he do was solidify that if you really want to fight somebody, Al Heyman to make it happen. And that's what he said. You know, he said, you know, he ain't doing it for the money. He said he's going to fight a new way for himself. Because you can't please the fans. And that would be crazy. They'd be listening to people on the internet like they hold some type of validity, bro. Like it's custom model comment. I'll be paying attention to them niggas, dog. Because nine times out of ten, it'll be the same niggas that come up to you, you know, in the streets and trying to take a picture and try to say what up, trying to be friends. I don't, I don't read nothing what these trolls say. My, 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 my ones I hate the most is these dudes that want to, they find pro black blackness on, uh, on YouTube through boxing and they want to act like they so black and get out of here. Get out of here, Raheem. I'm black, y'all, and I'm bliggity black. I don't pay them niggas no attention, bro. Like I told y'all, that pro pro black shit don't exist, dude. It can't it can't exist. It, you know, can't exist off the white dollar. Come on, but but yeah, I was interested. And people said, "Well, I was giving his blessing his phone. You know, he's in a smaller weight class or something like that. Whatever. Maybe that is true." But if you want something bad enough, you're willing to bend and break to get it. And that's and that's a fight that can put Earl Spence as one of the greatest welterweights of all time. Same for Terrence Crawford. Without it, they ain't going to be one of the greatest welterweights of all time. You know, unless somebody else come up on. Beating Ortiz, what that mean? Beating Ryan Ennis, what that mean? Beating Progress Josh Taylor, what that mean? The only way they can go chase greatness now for real to solidify themselves for real is probably go fight Jamel Charlo. And Jamel don't want to fight neither one of them. So it's funny how, you know, these black fighters don't want to fight each other. That's crazy. It's funny now that they none of them want to fight each other. None of these black brothers want to fight each other now. Now Heyman easily mixed this shit up with other ones like the New York Jap Japanese and that Mike can do what he want to do. But Earl don't want that shit bad enough, bro. And I heard, you know, his people say behind the scenes that he really wanted to fight Keith Thurman. And he told them that he wasn't going to fight Terrence. He didn't want to fight Terrence Crawford. That's what he's saying behind the scenes. So I just take it. I just take take him as just be trolling, bro. He's new. He's new any nigga that walk around with a purse on and eight and eight. And hugging on, kissing niggas on the neck and shit, bro. Red flag and boxing. You see AB and Tank doing that shit. You see Earl doing red flag and boxing, bro. No niggas don't want to fight nobody, bro. Everybody want to stick their chest out, you know. Like they're peacock, they're tough, they're confident. They want to strut like they that nigga. But when it boils down to that, uh, to that static, I don't know them dudes want no static, bro. Don't none of them dudes want no static. It's all troll. It's all troll. And if he wanted to facilitate that, how can he facilitate it? That's a phone deal. And them niggas in Philly build different than them niggas in Texas, bro. Because you're doing too much ducking in Philly. Danny Garcia had no choice but to fight Lucas Matias. 
or he couldn't have came back to the city and got any respect from any of them niggas in Philly. So he had to do it. You know, you can go back and forth uh, to Dallas and do that. Because all they is, all they sports fans is, is a bunch of fandom. That's why every year, no matter if it's Quincy Carter, Tony Romo, Drew Bledsoe, Dak the Whack Prescott as the quarterback, they believe. They believe. It don't matter. It's fandom. It's fandom. There's no objectivity involved. That's why that's why Jerry can sell dreams. Earl can sell dreams. But you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially, want to support the channel. Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, you can cash out, Venmo, PayPal link tree, first link description. Peace.